Hey guys. I was a student that probably could have fallen through the cracks pretty easily. And I always vowed that if I was ever into education, I was going to create a school in which all kids counted and that we did everything in our power for kids. I just really believe that more than ever before, we need to teach kids the skills of self-regulating their emotions. We know that they're going to benefit from dealing with socio-emotional components. They're going to perform academically and they're going to perform very strongly. The social emotional learning allows me to be a teacher. The students are motivated to learn and to have that leadership role within the classroom, to have that sense of community and a sense of family. I would like someone to choose how we're going to transition from our desks to the rug. Emrys. Thumb walk. Thumb walk, and can you tell the class your expectations? Quiet and don't talk. One of the things that's crucial with the responsive classroom is allowing the kids to take the leadership role. They made a list of how they would like to transition from one activity to the next. Um, doing a thumb walk, where they walk slowly and basically twiddle their thumbs. The transitions make me feel relaxed and they help me calm down. We are going to start morning meeting with what we did this weekend. I know a lot of you had some great stories to share, so we will start with Jacob. I saw the ice boats just fly, and that was really, really cool. When people share things, I always get a little picture in my mind of what they're doing. This is our family time. We come together as a family, and from here we talk about um, any successes, accomplishments students have had, and it just sets us up for the day. We are going to do yoga this morning and we're going to transition from the rug down to the forum. And when you're ready, you may start your stretch walk. Usually every day try to do some type of yoga, whether it's just a couple minutes a day or twice a week I do a full-blown 40-minute yoga class. The yoga and the transitions, it's helping me also when I'm at home, I'm also calming down more too. This is something that I can't start my day without. Oftentimes with kids, they don't realize that their body will tell them how they're feeling before their brain does. With yoga, we get that out of them, and it's a way for them to release all their energy, get them ripe for learning. How do you think that doing yoga in the, in the morning, especially before writing, is helping us? I feel much more relaxed and more focused. All the yoga that we do helps us do more writing time in the small amount of time we have. The advice that I would give to a teacher about wanting to implement social emotional learning into their classroom is that it's easy. It's easy and it's something that comes natural to all teachers. It's incorporating the movement, incorporating a voice for our students, incorporating that community, that sense of family. Once you have a culture where staff are committed to kids, it spreads like wildfire. All the things that we do have been teacher initiated. I'm smart enough to know as a leader of my school is I'm not the expert. My teachers are the experts. A key mindset, I think, is for leaders of schools to feel empowered to give their teachers a license to do these types of things.